hey lovers and friends welcome back to my channel yes i'm doing a voiceover again which means it's a movie review today it's another netflix one i know i'm predictable but this one this one yeah i know this one this one is the one this one is the one before i get started you all already know i'm not a professional movie critic i am just an opinionated girl who loves watching movies that's it that's my disclaimer so don't come for me every single thing stated in this review is my own opinion no one paid me to say these things it's it's my own opinion that's all i'm gonna say it's my own opinion and what i think about the movie so lego let's just get right into it let's just get right into the review all right so the movie we are reviewing today is a new netflix movie it came out on the 13th of november the name of the movie is called jingle jangle and when christmas movies start coming out you already know christmas is around the corner so i was really excited about this one because first of all christmas is my favorite time of the year literally and on top of that i really 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 do enjoy watching christmas movies so when i started seeing this being advertised i was like super excited already so i just couldn't wait for it and so it came out on the 13th the name of the movie is jingle jangle and if i'm being honest wikipedia be crazy with them long plots i'm not i'm not gonna say anything from wikipedia today so i'm just basically going to go off the top of my head from what i've seen right so basically jeronica's jangle is this famous toy inventor whose inventions get stolen by his apprentice his apprentice's name is gustav gustav gustafson that's the name of the apprentice it's played by keegan michael key once all of his inventions are stolen he kind of like gets depressed sort of he loses all hope all magic is gone in the world or rather in his world and then he loses basically himself he loses himself and then he almost or it gets to a point where he doesn't invent toys anymore because all of his inventions were stolen by Gustav gustafson and then what happens is that years later his granddaughter then visits him for christmas and brings out all like the old jeronicas comes back the fun jeronicas the one who starts like leaving he has he's this crazy genius who's always calculating so jenny who is the granddaughter is basically a younger version of him because she loves inventing she loves calculating she's like this weird little miniature version of him so her visiting him basically brings out him his true self oh my gosh first of all 10 out of 10 for a presentation like seriously thank you and number two thank you for not giving me that fake sneaker santa claus christmas is not about him thank you like honestly i love the fact that santa claus saint nick for the christmas whatever you want to call him i love the fact that he's not even referenced in this movie because like magical christmas movies love referencing father christmas i mean santa claus uh but he's not referenced in this movie not even once they don't mention the north pole no reindeers nothing that would connect christmas to santa claus which is great by the way i love that also the movie is a musical right so i think that just elevated the magic of the movie i'm not sure if i'm making sense but there's something about magical musicals that just makes the movie like even better i don't know if i'm making sense i i don't know that's just my opinion i love that i mean the movie is just it's damn near perfect wow netflix did that thing in this movie it's this movie is great by the way so i love the fact that they they have that musical incorporation with like the magic and christmas and all that warm feeling that christmas gives you you know you know that uh, that christmas feeling that people get that i get rather i'm not sure if everyone gets it but you you know what i mean 
you know this movie just makes you happy that's what i'm trying to say so the whole incorporation of the musical and the magical and the storyline it just makes you happy that's all i'm gonna say so we're just gonna move on to casting right first of all i i'm happy with the cast i love the cast um like i said earlier on when i said 10 out of 10 representation let me just break it down a little bit for you so the main the main cast is black right so jeronica's is black um jessica is black journey is black Sorry. i'm not sure if i did mention jessica is jeronica's daughter so she is journey's mother in the movie so they're all black the main cast of the movie is black and i love that so this is definitely a black movie don't get it twisted this is a strong black lead type of movie and so the cast they are black but they are brilliant no let me rephrase that the cast is black and they are brilliant not but they are brilliant and they are brilliant they have forest whitaker as obviously jeronica's i think i've mentioned that they have felicia rashad who is the older version of journey she also narrates the movie they have anika noni rose who's jessica oh my gosh oh my gosh guys if you know me you know that i love anika i've loved her since for colored girls i think anika noni rose is a gem like a diamond that's what i think she is brilliant the girl who plays um the younger version of journey is madeline mills i've never seen her before but i do have to say that she took to this role like a pro like she held her own in this movie so it's great she's great she's great um we're just gonna do some research and find out if she's been in anything else and if she has we will be watching that's all i'm saying okay so before i get carried away and spill all the beans about the movie i'm just going to rate the movie real quickly before i get carried away um i'm trying to rate this movie and i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 i know i know i always say that i never give anything a 10 out of 10 because nothing is perfect there should always be room for improvement but i do think that this movie is perfect i do i i'm rating this movie a 10 out of 10 i i found a perfect movie i i found a perfect movie guys and this movie is perfect and because i see no wrong with this movie i would highly 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 recommend that you watch it it's on netflix obviously it's great i'm done that's it that's the end of the movie i mean yeah that's the end of the video and the movie review thank you guys for watching this review don't forget to like share and subscribe also comment down below if you agree with me and even if you don't comment down below and we can have a conversation and since you're already here you might as well watch my other movie reviews and music reviews i will link them somewhere on the screen or at the end screen so might as well go do that since we're already here thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you thank you thank you peace love and light to all of you bye